Hey YouTube, and welcome back to I'm Skippy TV. Okay, so this video today, oh you know, oh yeah, well, before I get into the video, I've been working on a couple of things. Did a collab with my boy Dreamy, Dreamy Saving TV. Go, you know, check that out. Subscribe to his page and all that. And that those videos should be out soon, whatever. So, anyways. So this video today, whatever, is about stupid people and just the ignorant shit that they say. Like, okay, so a couple of days ago, right, I'm, you know, on the web, no, a web, like, I haven't, I think probably like a week ago or so, I posted a picture, whatever, of me and drag, and I had them on here. I don't know if some of you seen the picture or whatever, if you think it today, if you didn't, you did it. But I posted the picture of me and drag, and it was chill. I thought it was chill. A couple of people thought it was chill. You know, majority of people thought it was chill. No, I didn't really get any bad feedback about it. So, this random person, this guy out of the blue, writes me to tell me, oh, cute boy, but stop with the drag, basically. You know, telling me, oh, drag is not my thing, and just telling me to stop, and all this, and I'm ugly drag, and all this, and the whole works. I mean, he didn't go in like that, but he said, I mean, he used capital letters, to say the least, and I just felt like, and if the audio was a little staticky, I'm sorry, excuse that, but yeah. First of all, who are you? I don't know you from, I don't know. Three dicks in a pool. I don't know you, but my thing. He he. So he wrote um two boy blah blah blah. But drag is telling me to stop it. And then I'm like, okay. I was like, well, they. I was like, I didn't ask for your opinion, but okay. So and that was it. You know, in the in the um, conversation, you don't need to write me no more. You didn't like my drag. That's your business. I didn't ask you anyways. And I told you how about those. I didn't care about your opinion. So he goes on to say. Oh, well, I'm just trying to let, he, I'm just, he's like, I'm just letting you know, trying to keep young men informed, and trying to keep um, young men from being misinformed and misguided. What? Misguided? Who's misguided, first of all? I know nobody's misguided. I know who I am in life. I know what I want to be. I know what I'm striving for and my goals and all of that. So, we in this pretty little picture, did you see a misguided person because it's not right here. And so I'm like, you know, there's nothing about me misguided. If that's what I want to do, then that's what I want to do. Mind you, anybody that know me, I don't do drag all the time. I do it when I feel like it, and it's not often. So if I choose to post one picture up or a couple pictures of when I do it, who who's just sending it to you? I don't even got you as a friend. I don't know you. Part of that bunch of shit. I really didn't notice me. And then, so, you know, I'm like, all right, that's my business. How, what, what, what about it makes me, you know, what, how am I misguided, whatever. So, but I ended it there again, you know, that's how you feel. Leave it alone. I ended it again. So he goes on to say, oh, um, he's like, yes, misguided. And then goes on to say, he bet I ain't got no, he's like, oh, and assumed my father wasn't in my life. Excuse the hell out of me. I mean, he's not, but who, who are you to say, um, you know, if being, um, me having a father had to do with me liking makeup and drag and all that. This, first of all, I'm sorry, I hold that, I gotta get, because it's a lot, just, it, it had me so, like, uh, just bothered. To the point, like, it's just, like, I really was not trying to go there, but he was pushing me to, like, and, just, like, I've heard, okay. So, first of all, I have a friend, a very good friend, that has both his mother and father, and his father don't even play that, and he still like drag, still does makeup, still, you know, and he said, me just like me, you know, I mean, not as me, hey. But you know, just as well, and you know, that's my nigga, and he got his, both, both his mother and his father and his wife, and his father don't say that shit, and he still do it. So, 
having a hard time in your life don't have nothing to do with what you like. And because if you're comfortable in your sexuality and your lifestyle, then ain't nobody going to tell you what you can and cannot do and what you will like and what you won't like. So he goes on to say, oh, well, um, he was saying, oh, well, but you know, I'm thinking. So he was like, um, well, if you really care for that person and they, if you trust them and all this bullshit and church this and that, they could persuade you to believe otherwise. And I'm just like, oh, shut up. I was like, no, and he wrote, like, this whole thing. And I was like, all right, you really went out of your way to write all that for what? Because, you know, everything you're saying is invalid. And then he was like, oh, he got four degrees. And he, because I was like, oh, you ignorant for everything that you're saying. And stop talking to me, whatever, basically. And then he was like, oh, I got four degrees. And I'm very much intelligent. And blah, blah, blah all of that, I'm just trying to let you know, and I was like, well, for somebody that got four degrees, you sure is pretty dumb, and, you know, you're acting real stupid, like, you got, for what, what school do you know that you got four degrees from, bitch, because last time I checked, I don't know how old she was, but she wasn't that old, and I'm pretty sure you got to be a certain age, have four degrees, you know, college ain't no one, two thing, so anyways, you know, get some degrees and shit, and what, master's, bachelor's, it's some other ones in there, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them take at least four years to get. So, you know, majority of the degrees that's out there. Anyways, I don't know. But basically, for somebody that's so smart, too dumb, and somebody like me, some of y'all know me, some of y'all don't, but y'all know I'm not the smartest apple in the pier in, in a little batch. But I was looking real smarter than him because he was just so ignorant with it. And you know what I'm going to do for y'all? I'm going to post the conversation down there in the, um, the fuck the sick rule. The description, I'm going to post the conversation. And y'all can read for yourself how that conversation went down. So he was, like, basically trying to end it on me. Like, oh, have a nice day, whatever, something like that. But he didn't say it like that. And then I was like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. And you have a nice drag encounter today. You know, and then he wrote something else. And I really didn't hear. And then I was just like... You know, I put my last two cents in. I was like, don't write me dick. And if you're going to write something that just like, okay, that you got the message, I don't want to be nothing that you, you know, it was just a bunch of nonsense. And my thing is, and you know what killed me, what really killed me, the thing that might kill some of y'all too, is the fact, the fact that I'm making this video, is the fact that he was a gay man. And, <laughs> squeeze me, but last time I checked, as a gay man, talking to another young, you know, I'm young, so for you to be older, you should be more understanding of the fact, and you should have more insight, and be less ignorant to the fact of what I'm doing, if anything, you should understand, because you have more time in this earth than I have, so you should have seen more than I have, and experienced to not be so damn ignorant and stupid, so, what is that problem, and, you know, this is, it like, I don't know what it was, but it was just that fact that you was another gay man that, and you just, you know, so ignorant, just uh, to the core, and you just felt like everything you were saying was so right, excuse me, and everything you were saying was so right, and everything, and what I'm doing is wrong and all this bullshit, no bitch, you got to miss the food, because I was not the one, and what you thought I was going to sit there and say thank you, blah, 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 thanks for your insight, no bitch. You came at me wrong. Like Brandy from Bad Girls. She came at me fast. She came at, <laughs> he came at me wrong. So I had to let him know about himself. Like, you got the wrong one. Now I was going to sit there and say thank you, laugh it up, no, no, no. Yeah, you right. No, you're wrong. You sound stupid. You look stupid. And you got put in your face by a motherfucking teenager. Now, what you, what you got to say about that? And to top it all off. I really feel like deep down inside, he wants to be a drag. You know, it's always the people that want to be something or, you know, it, life really didn't work out the way they planned. So people that's doing what they wanted to do back in the day, that, you know, probably he wanted to be walking around in wigs and makeup and all this and putting on bras and stuffing them up and all this and that. Who knows? But that's not my business. And it's not your place to come at me writing your bullshit, telling me your bullshit, or listening on that about what, what you think is the way 
and all this and all that. So if anybody is misguided and informed, it would be you, sir. Yes, it would. So take your four degrees, take all your intelligence and all your little motherfucking dumbass opinions and shove it up your ass. And I don't know. I just feel like you real stupid for that. And don't ever write me again with your bullshit. Simple as that. And all you people in the future don't write me with your bullshit. I'm a do drag. I'm a keep continuing to do drag. I mean, it, it's fun. If you've done it before, you know how it is. It's fun. Hey, you know. I get confused for a girl in my everyday life when I'm not trying to be a motherfucking drag. And I'm looking like it's. When I got my hair done in certain ways and my clothes is real tight from the back, if you, man, if you didn't see me from front, you want me from the back, right? You're like, who that thing walking down the block? Yeah, that's me. You know, but anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, people just don't be so ignorant, especially people in the life, the, the, like, the lifestyle that we in, the gay lifestyle. Okay, don't be ignorant to your own kind. Like, that's so stupid. Is that enough black people being ignorant to black gays? So now gays is being ignorant to gays. That's just like, Black on gay on gay on black. You know, I don't know. It's just real fucked up. And a lot of people need to get their lives together. That's all I'm saying. A lot of you just need to get your lives together. Especially if it's like that. Because that means they got no two cents in a bucket of pickles. And I don't know what that means. But I'm going to continue to be him. And you continue to live your life like you like. And with that said, uh-huh. I'm trying to get the TV, so I hear something bopping, and then I hope everything is okay over here. So subscribe to I'm trying to TV, so subscribe to Jimmy TV. Our collaboration videos will be out soon. They're going to be on his page, not mine. And just like the official page on Facebook. Promote me, people. Huh. More videos will be up soon. And, um... I'm going to be doing a cover. Y'all want me to sing either A, Love on Top Beyonce, B, One Plus One Beyonce, or three. Um, what was the third one? I Was Here Beyonce, or D, A Song of Your Choice. Whatever song y'all want me to do a cover on, just let me know. I'm not a singer. I just like to perform. So with that being said, and I've been wearing white all week. Like, I've been on my Lisa Ray status, the real McCoy. I've been wearing white all week, like, literally. White shorts, white shirts, just everything. And it's it's been, I mean, I don't know. White just cools you down for some reason. But then again, I don't go out in the daytime because it's too happening. It. But anyways, subscribe to Science TV TV so the official page of Fabulousness. And just... Just, you know, go with the flow. And I'm coloring my hair real soon. I'm going to be a different color. Booyah shaka. So stay tuned for that. So bye. Peace out. Juices. All that good shit. Mm-hmm.